What's up guys? Chad back with you. Happy days. Got a new Phantom 4 Pro. The reseller on Amazon just refunded my money for some reason. <clears throat> so I just ran to Best Buy and got one so that way if I have a problem or another lemon I can just deal with it locally and pay sales tax. So lesson learned if you're not buying directly from Amazon you know there's a lot of good third-party sellers out there it just makes life a little bit more difficult. So, I've already tested it, flown it, everything looks great. Uh, the gyro and everything that you saw before in the other videos has all been corrected. New firmware is updated beautifully. And now we're going to get this thing ready for FPV. So the first thing we got to do is we have to install this HDMI module. So I'm going to link all the products below um, from where I got them on Amazon. Um, and it's not just going to be this. I'm going to put links to everything that I use on my Connex ground station. So if you want to record all of your FPV footage in HD with a HD cloner box onto a stick, I'm going to show you that whole thing and that whole process and, uh, you know, see what you think. So anyway, I'm going to get started doing this uh, module and test it out. Plenty of videos on how to install it. Main thing is just take your time, be careful, go slow. So let me get this installed. So after you get the HDMI module installed, you do have to do a firmware update. So I was able to actually see the heads up display information through the glyphs, but I was not able to see the actual video feed. So wait on this to get done and check back in. And here I am with the glyphs, and yes, I have a live picture in front of me. You can hear it refocusing on my hand. So, that is awesome. One thing to notice... Not sure if this is the way it's supposed to be, but there's no video there. So I wonder if I cut power on my glyphs. Yep, then the video comes back. So I'm hooked up to the HDMI. So I guess it's a one or the other type of thing. So the video goes out but you still have control of everything and that is what the beauty of the glyphs is is that I can sit here and I'll put this in front of the camera here I can still look straight ahead and see my FPV and I can do everything that I need to do on my app so that's just what's great about the glyphs they're amazing if you don't have them yet and you want to fly fpv with your phantoms or mavics you need to get some so there is latency using the glyphs but i don't really think it's going to be that big of a deal Really, this is just for helping in the sunshine and with the cloner box and the splitter, I'll be able to take people for FPV rides and stuff like that. So, since you can hook this uh, with the splitter, you can hook up to any HDMI source. So, um, one thing to think about is you do have a couple extra cables hanging off. And some people might like that and some people might not. Um, and then I'm also probably going to make this a little bit bigger because I'm going to have to put some equipment on here in order to record that D and DVR that 
at FPV footage. Um, but you can also use a ground station if you wanted to. So I guess we'll see which way I end up going. But uh, I'm pretty happy. This is the first time that I've ever had uh, HDMI out working on a, a DJI product. Couldn't have been easier. A little pricey. Would have been nice if it would have came with the fan uh, excuse me, Phantom 4 Pro. Comes with the, the Pro Plus, so, you know, I guess if you want to buy that, then you get that, and basically you're getting a screen for, I don't know, what's the Pro Plus now, 1700 1800 Not sure. So, anyway, that's just a quick video and quick test, and everything's working, and we will come back next time with a more comprehensive video of how to get all of this hooked up and recording and all that fun stuff. So, because if there's one thing about aerial video, you can never have enough camera angles. So, we'll see you next time.